Hello, hello, hello. Jennifer Edwards here coming to you from Sayreville, New Jersey. If you don't already know me, I am a work from anywhere mom of three little boys who are my biggest blessings and definitely my biggest challenges. Um, I wanted to uh, come on here, so I'm, it's, it's late. Thank you for joining me late at night. Um, but, um, you know, I'm like, I'm kind of like still bouncing off the walls. It's been a, a very busy day. I mean, you know what? It's been a very busy week and month and year and yeah, exactly, whatever. But um, it's been a crazy day. Uh, just full of um, a lot of fun things. Actually, today is the first day where I feel like I'm actually enjoying the holiday season as opposed to um, struggling through it. But um, I wanted to, to jump on, um, you know, while I'm awake and while I have time and I can squeeze it in, I wanted to do at least one more live before Christmas. And um, I'm hosting here, so um, I'm going to have to take down my background <laughs> and, uh, you know, clean up some business stuff and all that other stuff. So um, while I have it here, I figured that I'd, uh, I'd do a live today. Um, I promised last week I did a live about um, self-care. And um, so I promised the last week that I was going to do a follow-up of giving ideas for how you can um, take better care of yourself. And, uh, and so that's what I'm going to do today. Um, so we talked a little bit about self-care and what is it. Um, so what it, what it is, is um, any activity that you deliberately do um, that takes care of your mental, spiritual, um, emotional, and physical health. And, um, you know, so basically taking care of you is self-care. And um, we talked about how it's, you know, not just important, it's actually crucial to getting you through life, basically. Um, you know, as fluffy and indulgent as self-care sounds, um, it's really important. And you do, um, we all need to make time for it because um, we need to build time into our schedule for it because if we're not taking care of ourselves, we can't take care of anyone else. Um, and so it shouldn't really be treated as a reward. It is definitely part of the process of living. So um, we need to take care of ourselves. So what does, what, what kind of um, examples can I give of ways that you can better take care of yourself? Um, you know what, I forgot to do my little interaction thing. So um, if you're catching me live, could you just drop a one in the comments, please? And um, if you're catching the replay, drop a replay in um, the comments and just let me know. So I, I, I always like to know who caught me live and, and who's, um, who's watching um, as we're going along here. So anyway, um, I'm going to give you, hey Christine, how are you? Hi Corin. Um, I'm going to give you 10 ideas for how to take better care of yourself. And, um, you know, obviously self-care is going to mean different things to different people. And um, we talked about that last time. If you want to go back, if you didn't see that last live, go feel free to go and check that out. Um, it really goes through um, a lot about um, ways that we can take care of ourselves. But this this list that I'm going to give you is something that basically applies to everyone. Some people are going to have focuses in different areas, um, but this one really anybody can use. So without further ado, I'll move on to it. Um, number one, create a no list. Okay, um, things you know you don't like things that you know you no longer want to do, that no longer serve you or serve a purpose in making you happy. Um, examples might include uh, things like not checking your emails at night, um, not looking at anything work-related once you're home from work, um, not attending gatherings you don't like, not answering your phone during dinner, not answering, um, you know, and not just not being on electronics with your family, um, something like that. I don't know. I mean, I'm not there yet, <laughs> but that's okay. Um, uh, number two, promote a nutritious, healthy diet. Um, you know, obviously, I think we all know we need to do that or we should do that and whatever. Obviously, it's part of taking care of yourself. You know what to do. Um, when you're ready, you'll do it. Number three, make sure you get enough sleep. 
Adults typically need um, seven to eight hours of sleep per night. I find I need nine. <laughs> um, I'm not ever allowed nine, really. Um, sometimes I'm allowed to sleep in, but um, it's a big deal. And um, so getting enough sleep. If, if you find yourself going to bed super late, um, like me, you know, most nights I'm like, oh, why am I still awake? I'm going to hate myself in the morning for being awake. And yet I still do it every night. Um, I have a setting on my phone where you can um, have your phone give you a 30 minute prompt before bedtime to say, hey, you know, you should start winding down. Um, that's my reminder to go to bed. Um, and usually I read at bedtime, but that's just something I'm sharing an idea, you know, that I use. And my phone actually plays um, a little a little lullaby for me <laughs> at 11 o'clock when it's time for bed. Um, so make sure you get enough sleep. Um, that was number three. Number four is exercise. Um, so exercise is definitely good for your emotional health. I know that for sure for me. Um, when I did work out a lot, it really made me a much calmer person. And uh, so it does... Um, Obviously, it would help your physical health as well, but emotional health, it really does help. Um, you um, it release endorphins and things like that when you exercise. It increases serotonin levels, um, which um, improve your mood and your energy. Um, I definitely slept better at night when um, I exercise during the day. And, um, you know, uh, what's important uh, in, you know, in line with the um conditions that, that we talked about last time about self-care and what you um, think self-care is. Obviously, it's something that you enjoy. So if you're going to exercise, you want to make sure that you pick an activity that you really like. Okay. Um, number five, follow up with your medical care. Make sure that you um, don't put off your checkups or your visits to the doctor. Um, I find Myself, personally, I'm way overwhelmed with all of the kids' doctor's appointments that I just put mine off and put mine off and put mine off. I just don't feel like doing it um, and committing to that because I'm, I'm so uh, tied up with the kids. Um, number six, I think we're at six. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, okay, great. I didn't number these. <laughs> Sorry. Um, Use relaxation exercises or practice meditation. And you can do these exercises at any time of the day. Um, interestingly enough, okay, I meditated twice today. Um, and I really hardly ever meditate. Okay, but um, I was completely stressed out. I woke up at 5 a.m. And I'm like, all of a sudden, I feel so anxious um, that I really, I needed to calm down <laughs> and stop thinking about what I needed to do because it was way too early for me to wake up to do it. So um, I used it to go back to bed. Um, and then I actually did it again because I had a migraine and I took migraine meds and needed to like not think about. Um, my migraine meds tend to make me anxious, which doesn't help anything. Um, and so, you know, that's, that's why. Meditation is a really big, big deal. If you can learn how to do it, um, I actually use an app because my concentration is not so good without it, but um, there are a ton of apps out there for meditation. And it's really just clearing your mind and focusing on the present and not thinking about anything. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, moving along, spend enough time with your loved ones um, is number seven, I believe. Uh, yep. And um, <clears throat> number eight is do at least one relaxing activity every day. Whether it's taking a walk, um, spending 30 minutes unwinding, doing something that makes you happy. Um, I tend to unwind by scrolling on Facebook and I don't really think that that does the job that I intended to do. So, um, you know, something that really relaxes you and gets you out of, um, you know, what you've been doing all day. So if you're coming home from work, you're leaving work behind, um, or, you know, for us, uh, you know, it's crazy in my house from, you know, around dinner time on until bedtime. So after the kids go to bed, it's pretty much quiet time here. Um, so anyway, one relaxing activity every day. Um, number nine, do at least one pleasurable activity every day from going, uh, 
to the movies, um, cooking, meeting with friends, having a good conversation with a friend, reconnecting with a friend is always good. Um, and then um, number 10 is look for opportunities every day to laugh. Um, and so I am sharing this with you. Obviously, you know, like I, I really am not a self-care expert, so I'm just sharing you, with you what I've learned. Um, the main reason why I haven't been with you for a while is because I wasn't practicing self-care. It's um, the week before Christmas. I've been wrapping gifts and getting cards out and, you know, um, we're actually hosting, like I said, here on Christmas Eve. So today I did the shopping. I'm feeling like super accomplished. <laughs> I knocked out a lot of my stuff today. Um, and so like today is really the first day where I feel a lot calmer and ready for the holiday because um, until now I've been completely stressed out about everything. Um, and so anyway, it's very important that um, this take a priority in your life. You know, taking care of yourself, loving yourself, how to show you love yourself is by taking care of yourself and giving your body what it needs, giving your mind what it needs. And um, so what do you think? <laughs> Did you get any value from this? Did you learn anything? Um, let me know in the comments. Um, let me know what you plan to do to take better care of yourself. Um, and, uh, you know, New Year's resolutions, New Year is next week. And, um, you know, it's a big time for everybody to make changes in their lives. Let me know what you're thinking. Um, if it relates to self-care, let me know um, what you plan to do for yourself better in 2018. I really would love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I will talk to you soon, very soon, as soon as I can. <laughs> as soon as we can build some time in my life for this. Thank you so much, everyone. I hope you have a great night. And um, if I am not live again, um, let me extend my wishes now. I hope everyone has a Merry Christmas. Um, you know, if, uh, if you're celebrating and um, all of the best in 2018. Talk to you soon, guys. Bye.